Milwaukee just dropped a bombshell on the tire industry. We'll get into the details in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. Milwaukee has just announced they're going to release a one inch D handle high torque impact in their M18 line in Q2 of this year. That's just weeks away. So here in 2020, we're going to get the first cordless high torque impact with a one inch anvil. It's also going to have their one key technology. So it's going to have torque control and precision control. So you can keep from over tightening lug nuts, even on big rigs. Now, Let's back up a little bit and talk about some of the impact tools that Milwaukee's already released. Now, a couple of years ago, we saw for the first time the 2863 with one key technology. That's the, you know, Gen 2, uh, arguably Gen 3 impact, high torque impact from Milwaukee, but it included their one key application, which enables you to use your smartphone and actually set torque settings and things like that and speed control uh, on the impact wrench. So the 2863 got that. Now, that was great for removing tires, for you know tearing engines apart, to doing construction things as well. Um, and the torque control is really good. In fact, I did a detail or we did a detail video on this, the one key uh, Milwaukee high torque impact versus like torque sticks and an air impact or even a cordless unit with torque sticks. And there's a lot of great detail in there, but there is a lot of detail. I don't want to cover that right now, but I'll put a link in, uh, uh, to that video in the description. So make sure you check that out. So jump to last year at NPS or their new product symposium and Milwaukee showed us the 2867. Now this is a one inch high torque impact. Now, is it a D handle? No, it is not. Even though the majority of the videos, I shouldn't say the majority, but a lot of the videos and content that you see out about the 20, 2867 is showing it taking lug nuts off and taking tires off of rims. That's not what this machine was designed for. It's not what this tool was designed for. Milwaukee will tell you that. Even though everybody likes to think, hey, I can take my tires off. Will it do it? Absolutely it will. But what's really meant to do that is this new D handle that they're releasing in the next couple of months or even the next few weeks. So that's exciting to see. Now, what makes that different than this? Well, again, we don't have a lot of details on the new D, D handle, but I can tell you what this is not. And again, we're going to be releasing a full video on what this is actually meant for and what it's not meant for. But I'll get down to the nitty gritty right now. This is meant for more hard joints. This, uh, this impact is meant for not so much a soft joint. What's a soft joint and a hard joint? Well, kind of in a, in a nutshell, a soft joint would be taking wheels and tires off of cars. So that's kind of a part that's meant to come on and off. Uh, not, not so much meant to move around, but again, it's meant to come on and off. That's kind of a soft joint. What's a hard joint? Well, a hard joint would be more maybe structural steel. Uh, so a steel beam bolted to concrete. Uh, maybe steel beams bolted to one another. Uh, in the heavy equipment, uh, heavy equipment world, maybe a blade uh, bolted to a dozer or teeth to an excavator. Things that are meant to bolt on hard together, no moving joints there, not meant to come apart until they're ruined or does, you know, what have you. But so that's kind of in a nutshell what the difference in a hard joint and a soft joint is. And again, that's machine was not designed for that. Will it take those lug nuts off? Yes. Was it meant to compete with a D handle or replace the D handle? No. Now what's a D handle? Well, anybody that messes with medium and heavy duty trucks knows exactly what a D handle is. Now in the consumer car market uh, or in the light truck world, most of your impacts are going to be pistol style impacts and that's what you're using. But you step up to that medium duty level truck, or you jump into heavy equipment or heavy duty trucks, uh, semis, things like that, you're reaching for a D handle. And that D handle is meant to take off wheels and tires. So that's what this machine was not designed to do, the 2867, but the new one, don't have a model number yet. This is just really, just information released today. We got very little information on it. Now we are told that it is gonna be the most high performance impact ever. I don't think they said ever, but anyway, it's going to be the strongest impact tool on the market bar none. So I would imagine we're going to see it somewhere in the 1500 pound range. Uh, cause you know, we saw the full quote, 1400 foot pound, uh, Milwaukee and then come to the, 
Uh, I think they tuned this down to 1,100 foot-pounds. Maybe it was 14. I, I'm not remembering. But regardless, I, I really don't think it matters. I think it's going to back off lug nuts with no problem at all. Or I, don't, I don't think they would release it. Um, but here's the interesting thing. I think it's going to be stronger than the 2867 because they really tuned this tool to the 8.0 battery. So the 8 amp hour battery is kind of what they tuned uh, the, uh, the 2867 um, one inch impact for. Now the new D-handle impact is they've already said it's going to be kitted with two 12.0 batteries. So I know you're going to say, well, the amp hours is just the fuel cell. You know, it's more fuel, uh, longer run time, really not increasing performance. That's really not the truth. Um, it, yes, absolutely. It's a bigger fuel cell, or there's more fuel in the tank, if you will, um, so it's going to last you longer. However, you can see performance gains from a 5.0 to an 8.0 to a 12.0 battery. So you will see performance gains in this tool. Also, we know that Milwaukee will tune their tools specifically for batteries. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't run a 5 amp hour battery in your 1 inch impact or, you know, your half inch impact. That's absolutely fine. But again, with, with all the electronics, uh, with brushless drive controls and things like that, with onboard chips on these machines, they can definitely tune their machines to be peak performance with certain battery packs. So with me seeing that there's going to be kitted with two 12.0 batteries, I promise you this tool is going to be set up to be the best with a 12.0 battery pack, which tells me they're going to utilize the most they can out of a 12.0 pack, which again leads me to believe it's going to be stronger than these two machines here. So this new D-handle impact, we're excited to see it. The new handle is supposed to be removable as well as be able to rotate 360 degrees. You're going to be able to purchase it in a snub nose uh, or in a six inch anvil as well. So again, talking straight to the tire world. Really excited to see this new impact. We have not laid our eyes on it or our hands on it. I'm very surprised that we didn't see something or hear something about this at the new product symposium of 2019, which was just last May. Um, but again, they kind of snuck this one in there. So really excited to see our, put our hands on it. Uh, we hear that they're going to be releasing this in some shows coming up, like a heavy, uh, like a heavy equipment or heavy duty show coming up. So look for more details coming from us. We'll definitely show you some more content once we get our hands on it. Also, Look to these other videos. We're going to do some, you know, more explanations, or we've already done it here on the 2863 versus Torque Sticks. We're going to dig into some more details on what this tool is meant for the 2867. Also, keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Have a great day.